Sex under the influence has been around since Homo sapiens first accidentally fermented a beverage. Hi, I'm Dr. Mo, your host of The Basics with Dr. Mo. No effort to stop alcohol or other substance use has ever, ever succeeded. I wonder why that is. No matter. Sex under the influence does happen, but how often does it happen? Do most people have sex when they're drunk or high? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so. I, I think would say yes, probably. I think most interactions um, outside of a relationship happen like that. It's 50-50. Hmm, I didn't hear a single no. Did you? What's going on here? Abstinence most of the time is not a choice for most people. No, really. Why does it seem like everyone is getting high or drunk to have sex? I think if you're in a group of friends and your friends are like, they're also doing it, so you're more inclined to do it. So. It's most of the time if you don't have a significant other, I feel like, because when you're, you're not really in the position where like you would like soberly text a person that you're not exclusive with and be like, oh, come over. Like, that really only happens when you're drunk, and I would say that, yeah, most of it has to do with, like, alcohol or drugs, at least to start. Um, and then, like, later on, things can progress in a more, like, sober way. But I, like, obviously people drink to become more open, to become more social, and then, like, maybe you'll meet someone and, like, be a little more open, you know, be more flirty, like, and meet someone that you like from that. Um, I couldn't see, like, a serious relationship, you know, really forming out of like a really drunk hookup, maybe, sometimes. <laughs> I mean, sometimes people, you know, they just, you know, they get under the influence because they say it's a better experience. Um, that's a good question. I think mostly when they're drunk. I feel like if you're high, you're not... Like, you can barely, you barely know where you are, so how, how can you have sex like that? Researchers at New York University recently addressed the age-old question, is it better to have sex when you're high on weed or drunk? And the answer is weed. Why did weed win? Because it led to magnified orgasms. That sounds good. Being high on weed also led to less regret. I'm a scientist, so I can give you my professional opinion. You should know that this study included 24 New Yorkers recruited from Craigslist. That's not a lot of people from Craigslist. It's safe to say we don't have the definitive answer to this question yet. So what's the good, the bad, the bottom line of sex under the influence? Um, I mean, it does have a different feeling. But I don't know about drunk sex. I've experienced that and I don't, it's, it's worse. <laughs> I don't think sex is necessarily better that way. If you feel awkward during sex or uncomfortable, I mean, when you're drunk, you're gonna not be, like not have such high inhibitions. Most people use it as an excuse in case they do something they regret, so they can always blame it on something else that's not them. Although I like to think like that every time I've had sex with someone under the influence of something, I would have done it otherwise, you know? Like, if things aren't safe when you're drunk, you know, like you might forget a condom or might forget stuff like that. You don't remember it the next day sometimes. Sometimes you're not even sure what's happening, you know? Just don't forget the do's of sex under the influence. Do use a condom. Do let yourself enjoy the experience. The experience that you agree to. Do say no at any time along the way. Do pee when you're done. Who needs a urinary tract infection? As always, I want to give a huge thank you to all of the women who share their stories. We couldn't do this without you. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and share The Basics with Dr. Mo, because you deserve to know. Thanks for watching. Sex? <laughs>